could be brown, I could be blue, I could be violet. Hi, let's talk the scientifically accurate coloration of dinosaurs. Right now, there are about six species of dinosaurs whose color we know. That's right, if you're following along on your adult dinosaur coloring book, you now know what to do on page 19. So let's go through them rapid fire. With the ginger and white striped tail, Sinusoropteryx made lemur core cool long before King Julian. He lived in what's now modern day China during the early Cretaceous and might have lived off of an early mammal called Jangiotherium that had platypus style spurs on its ankles. Someone please call Dan Pavenmeyer for me. Tsai Hung, heralding from the late Jurassic, also from China, looked like the most stylish oil spill ever. The closest modern day comparisons to its feathers are iridescent hummingbirds. Briella Palta is one of the best things to come from a mine since the premise of Until Dawn. The game, not the movie. Excavated by accident in a 2011 Canadian mining operation, Briella Palta is the best preserved nodosaur ever discovered, and an early Cretaceous relative of Ankylosaurus. Had a red-brown back, light belly, helped protect it from predators from the top down. And Kiornis had some of the coolest black and white wing patterns that I will never be able to draw. Chicken size with a red crest, it kind of resembled woodpeckers, but uh, those would evolve like 120 million years later. Cetacosaurus is amazing on three different levels. One, it had a set of stocky proto feathers on its tail. Two, we know it had coloration similar to mesobiomes in Minecraft. Three, we have disturbingly detailed evidence of what it's <laughs> look like, which is something you can never unknow. And finally, Microraptor. The Cretaceous version of iridescent ravens, except it had four wing sharp teeth and was involved in a 1999 international fossil forgery hoax. Just look up Archaeoraptor. But Helen, how the hell? We know all of these different colorations. Well, with some crazy rare, well-preserved specimens, you get these fossilized melanosomes. Melanosomes are special structures inside of pigment cells that store, move, and make melanin. Melanin is like the, it's the color pigment, the thing that makes color for a lot of different organisms. Looking at the shape of them under a microscope, you can actually determine what color that prehistoric melanosome was by comparing it to modern day melanosomes. Mommy made me mash my melanosomes. Mm -mm -mm. Like the red-brown pigment, pheomelanin was found all over Briella Pelta. Oh, that's all for this crash course in dinosaur coloration. Like and follow and press all the buttons. We want more weird, wild, and totally unsolicited conversation starters. Bye.